Hi and welcome to another video from jsinfosec.com. I'm John. In today's video, we're going to show you how to install the latest version of Kali Linux on a virtual box. So, Offensive Security has released the latest version of Kali Linux uh, last week. So, I'm going to show you how to install the latest version on a virtual box. So, you can go to the download section of the Kali.org and you can download the ISO version. Uh, which can be used for multiple purposes like you can install it on a separate system or also you can install it on a virtual box or a vmware uh, which is a sharp uh, like vmware player or workstation you can also go and download the uh, virtual box images if you want but i would highly suggest you to go with the iso version and uh, that also with the 64 bit so we've already downloaded it and uh, you can see that in my download section now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and first check whether this um uh, downloaded uh the one that i've downloaded is the one that they have been released that is basically i'm going to go and check the sha one sum if they have tampered the ISO file that is basically the Kali Linux file then the SHA-1 sum uh, will differ so it's always a good practice to always check this because you will know what you're downloading and installing on your computer so I've downloaded Kali Linux and placed it in my downloads folder so I'm gonna go to download section I'm gonna go to LS I can see the Kali Linux 2.0 folder I'm gonna go into it and if you do an ls you will see two files one is the iso file and one is the uh sha1 sum text file you can also copy the sha1 uh, from here but i'm gonna go with the one that they have provided so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna first check the uh sha1 from the iso file so you can easily do it with the help of the sha sum tool and then you all you need to give is the iso file and then i'm going to write it to a file called sha1 dot sha1 original at txt so this is going to take a little time okay so now if i do an ls i should see the sha1 original dot text so if i open it with a text editor like this i should see the uh, sha1 checksum and it's given as kali linux 2.0 so what you can do is you can go and compare this file with the uh, text file that they have given or from the website the easiest way to do it is to copy the contents of the SHA-1 from here and use the diff tool to compare the two files. So they've already given a text file. Let's just check that one also. That is Kali Linux 2.0 text.sha ones file. That's the File that there again, so there's the SHA1 sum here. So I'm gonna go and compare using the diff tool. So let's just see the options. So we can just use the options. The one that we're gonna use is the hyphen Q, which will save only when the file. Uh, differs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the diff with the hyphen Q option and then I'm going to given the SHA-1 
SHA-1 uh, original.txt and the Kali Linux uh, text.sha-1sum. If they differ, uh, we'll get an F. Uh, get a option saying that this differs so the file does not differ that's why you don't see any errors so now we are sure that the version that we downloaded is original and it's not been tampered so now i'm going to show you how to install this on the virtual box so i've already downloaded virtual box You can download VirtualBox, which is free. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new virtual machine. I'm going to create new, and then I'm going to give in the name as Kali 2.0 64-bit. And then I'm going to say the type is Linux. Just see if there is any Kali here, no option of Kali, so I'm gonna go with other Linux 64 bit. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna allocate 1 GB of RAM around 1 GB. That's gonna be 1000 MB. And I'm gonna say create a virtual hard drive now. Uh, so make sure you select this one. I'm going to click create and I'm going to use the VDI which is VirtualBox disk image. I'm going to say continue and storage and physical hard drive is going to be dynamically allocated so that whatever you use is going to be stored. Uh, if you uh, check fixed size then you have to give in the size hard drive file may meet. So the disadvantage is this that if your hard drive file may take longer to create or some system but it's often faster to use but problem is that um, the space will be already used so if you say use 20 GB your all your 20 GB will be gone if you use dynamic allocated as in and when you use your storage uh, it's going to get the other storage unit be free it's going to go with 64 bit I'm going to give in 20 GB So this has created the new uh, virtual machine. So now I'm going to right click and click on settings. And um, the system option, let's see everything, display, storage. The storage option, you're going to click on the empty phase and you're going to say, I'm sorry. Yes, in the empty stage, you're going to say, given the ISO file so I'm gonna go to the download section that's where I have the ISO file go to Kali folder and click on the ISO and I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna start So, I'm going to click live. So now actually use the live option to log into Kali Linux. You can also install it. 
and he's directly selecting the install option uh, I just went into live version so that you can see that this uh, Kali Linux can actually be booted live from your USB or CD drive so this is the latest version of Kali and there's a lot of new tools being added new interface and all those stuff you can check their website for all those details right now we're going to show you how to install it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and we start it the easiest way is to close the machinery we start it again this time I'm going to select download I'm sorry install with the speech synthesis or you can go with install So this is going to start the installation process. I'm going to select the language as English. Um, I'm going to select the country. I'm going to go with India. That's where I live. And then I'm going to use the key map to use American English. So this is going to take a little time to actually go and install. So I'm going to pause the video now and then. So I'm giving the host name. is home you can just go with whatever name you want and then I'm gonna go with the domain name as yes, my name and then I'm gonna go with the password or password so make sure you remember this one because this is going to be your password for your root user and you should know this otherwise you will not be able to log in so this is going to go and install so once again I'm going to pause the video welcome back so now we're going to use uh, select the guide use the entire disk option We'll say all files in one file, one partition. And then we're going to say write changes to the disk. Yes. It is going to take a little time. Welcome back. So, configuration package or manager uh, is just asking as a network mirror can be used to supplement the software that is included on the cd room basically it says that it wants to update so if you give your network settings it's going to go and update at this moment i'm going to say no so it'll then go and configure uh, and install all the other tools so i'm going to pause it again So now it's asking us whether to install Grub Bootloader on this hard disk. We're going to say yes, and uh, we're going to enter device. Sorry. It's going to go with no. So it's basically asking whether to install the Grub bootloader on this hard disk. So we're gonna go say S. Let's say 
and give it the partition so this is actually finishing the installation process once your installation process is finished it's going to go and reboot the system so once again I'm going to pass it this is already taken 15 minutes installation process has completed so I'm going to click continue this is going to go and uh, restart the machine the installation process got over and the system is actually rebooted now it's asking for the username we're going to go with the root the password is going to be the one that you enter when you install it have successfully installed Kali Linux on your virtual box. In an additional process you need to install the uh, guest edition so that you get all the features of the virtual box like you can maximize the screen, minimize and all the stuff. I'm going to show you that in the next video, uh, the part 2 of how to install Kali Linux on virtual box because this video is already taken around 15 minutes. So that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any doubts or queries, please feel free to post a comment. Thanks for watching.